everybody. Hi, I'm Jean Luc. I'm Nick. And we're in the kitchen. WWE we got our aprons on. WWE gays. We're cooking. Yeah. So today we're actually doing a recipe because we have actually talked about this at our tour yes. stop. Yes. And we've talked about this a few times. Yes. And we haven't had a chance to actually record it. No. And funny enough, one of our uh, family members of WWE fans and friendly men, family members, Emma Louise Wazi Lenko. Sorry if we're butchering yes. your last name. But uh, she sent us this recipe, and actually it's a pretty cool recipe. Depending on the cake mix, it's basically trying to make one point cupcakes. cupcakes. Yeah. So normally your cupcakes, it's your flour, whatever's in the box, plus oil, butter, eggs, you know, and that's what ends up making it even higher points. Yeah. So what we do is we use a cake mix, and we replace everything that is usually points with Greek yogurt. Exactly. And then we keep on adding the water and whatever other mixtures we need to it, and then we divide it into smaller portions. Exactly, so we're not exactly making one point cupcakes this time, we're making 48, so the, the full cake mix is 70 points. Yep. So each cupcake will be a roughly one and a half one point, and a half. or so 1.6. Three points for two cupcakes, yeah, basically. Three points for two cupcakes. If you find a sugar-free cake mix, which are very hard to find in yeah. Canada, we don't have, at least I've not no, seen I've any, seen it. but we're gonna keep looking. Yeah. We're gonna keep looking, maybe the note, Low carb grocery, grocery store, store might have something, so yeah. we'll keep looking. And if we do find something, we will be coming out with a one point cupcake at some point. All right. So we found this golden cake. It's uh, President's Choice gluten free. And so the entire package is seven points per serving, and the serving has it's uh, times ten, so seventy points. I don't want to make a mess because knowing me, I would this would explode, and then we have to make cake. a mess. Yeah. So you see, I was smart. I asked for the scissors, and look at we have we have a visitor. Santa's here to visit. Santa's gonna make cake with us today. Hey, baby. Hi, sweetie. I will catch you, but I'm cooking. Yeah, I know, I'm cooking. So uh, that we're also gonna add half oh, a cup. So it just smells good. Half a cup of usually you put butter. So we say we're gonna replace it. We're gonna replace it with the yogurt. So we're replacing half a cup of yogurt, Greek yogurt. So we use right now we have the Liberté Greek yogurt. We use the Costco brand. We use. Any brand, yeah, really. Any brand, really. Um, if we are at Costco, we'll most likely get the Costco Kirk, brand. Kirkland, what brand? Uh, yeah, the Kirkland. But whenever we don't, we, this is one the one we go to. We love PC. The PC one is a little thicker, we find. It's yeah. not as... Uh, so that's half a cup of Greek yogurt. So we're adding so that. that. And then half a cup of water. So, so I'll grab that after and get you some water. Mm -hmm. half, a cup, half a cup of water. So I got that in there. Oops. A cup of water. Sorry, I'm right in front of the camera. As he adds a half a cup of water, I'm actually going to take. This is something we're adding. We're adding a tablespoon of the um, zero point caramel caramel flavor, just to add an extra touch of flavor and to two eggs and two eggs. So. And two. So now I'm gonna go to the other side here and I'm gonna beat this. Nick will talk yep. to you for a few seconds. I'll actually switch you might, the camera over. You might, you might make, there might be some noise in the background yeah, so for a I'll second here. Around. And turn that on. And you just mix away. Because the butter, because the butter is almost the same thing, melted butter is almost the same consistency as yogurt, it acts the same way. And it still creates you a nice cake mix. Yep. Now I don't know if this would work to make a full cake because the, the yogurt does not replace all of the ingredients that the butter would give. So I don't know if this would work as a full cake, but we know as many cupcakes, it works really well. I think it should work as a full cake too, uh, to be honest with you. So now that we've this is no, we've if never tried it. No, we've never tried it. Someone else out there tries it. Let us know if it works for a full cake. So now that we've done this, we're just gonna stop this here, and we're gonna go ahead and split this into our mini muff muffin tins. And we'll come back once they're out of the oven. So yeah, so in the oven, we're gonna be popping them in for 325 degrees. Um, the original cake mix says 325, and it also says to cook them for 10, 10 to 20 minutes. 10 to 20 minutes. Yeah, 10 to. No, 12 cupcakes, 21 to 24 minutes. Oh, okay. So we will put them in for 21 to 24 minutes. Like I said, let me cupcake recipe. Use your recipe to figure out your time and your temperature for your oven because, you know, we're using it based on the actual recipe we're given. So try and it out. Engage your own oven because everyone's oven is a little different, different right? Some yeah. ovens are more temperamental than others. Yeah. So we're going to pop these in and we'll come right back and show you what you look like when you're done.
Everyone. Hi, our cupcakes are ready. And they're, I can't lie, we had two, two each, each already. Without icing. Yeah, one point each. Well, 1.5, so three points. Yeah, three points for two. Yeah, so this is what they look like, little mini cupcakes. And so one of these is 1.4 points, so we say it's at 1.5. So if you have one, you can count it as a one point. Yeah. But if you have two, it's three points. Yeah, but with the icing we're gonna make it, you can make it each two points. You, right, but technically the icing is not much no. icing because yeah. all we're using is uh, cottage cheese. We're using smooth cottage, cottage cheese instead of like a cream cheese. And I'm gonna take a tablespoon of uh, brown sugar splenda. Not a tablespoon, a teaspoon, sorry. A teaspoon of brown sugar splenda. Just gonna add that to the cottage cheese. Brown sugar splenda. I'm gonna stir that together. So it's almost like a cream cheese drip icing. And it almost turns into like a little bit of a caramel. It smells really good actually. Mm -hmm. It smells like cream cheese. Yeah. yeah, it smells like cream cheese. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of that. And we're gonna spread it right on top. And this entire thing of cream cheese here is half a point. All of yeah. this is half a point. So essentially, here. you still have two for three points. Yeah. So it's a really low point option. There's tiny, of course. They are tiny. So. But sometimes you just need something. Yeah. So here you go. And we only ice as we eat them. Yeah. So we net we have a little bit of icing in the fridge if we need it, and then we ice it when we need it. So that way your cupcakes stay longer. You can yeah. they can last longer. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That little. Mm -hmm sweetness of the the, the the tartness of the cheese. Mm -hmm. mm. Really good. Delicious. Yep. So if you guys try this recipe, mm -hmm. share on social media, use hashtag WMBGays. If you have other recipes you can use to, to make these kinds of cupcakes, mm -hmm. or if you have other ideas, let us know. Um, you can also find us on all social media using hashtag WMBGays. And check out our website, www.gays.com. Www wow. Also subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below and also hitting the bell to be notified when we have uh, new videos that are being uploaded. And don't forget our live shows every Sunday. Yeah. So talk to you later. Bye. Bye.